many anti-Israel protesters, many choose to stand with evil. They stand with Hamas. They stand with rapists and murderers. They stand with people who came into the kibbutzim, into a home. The parents hid the children, the two babies in the attic, in a secret attic. They murdered the families, the parents. They found the secret latch to the hidden attic, and then they murder the babies. These protesters stand with them. They should be ashamed of themselves. They refuse to make the simple distinction between those who target terrorists and those who target civilians, between the democratic state of Israel and the terrorist thugs of Hamas. We recently learned from the National Security Director, Director of, U.S. Director of National Intelligence, that Iran is funding and promoting anti-Israel protests in America. They want to disrupt America. So these protesters burn American flags even on the 4th of July. And I wish to salute the fraternity brothers at the University of North Carolina who protected the American flag, protected the American flag against these anti-Israel protesters. For all we know, Iran is funding the anti-Israel protests that are going on right now outside this building. Not that many, but they're there and throughout the city. Well, I have a message for these protesters. When the tyrants of Tehran, who hang gays from cranes and murder women for not covering their hair, are praising, promoting, and funding you, you have officially become Iran's useful idiots. Some of these protesters, that's amazing, absolutely amazing. Some of these protesters hold up signs proclaiming gays for Gaza. They might as well hold up signs saying chickens for KFC. These protesters chant from the river to the sea, but many don't have a clue what river and what sea they're talking about. They not only get an F in geography, they get an F in history. They call Israel, they call Israel a colonial state. Don't they know that the land of Israel is where Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob prayed, where Isaiah and Jeremiah preached, and where David and Solomon ruled? For nearly 4,000 years, the land of Israel has been the homeland of the Jewish people. It's always been our home. It will always be our home. It's not only the campus protesters who get it wrong. 
It's also the people who run those campuses. 80 years after the Holocaust, 80 years after the Holocaust, the presidents of Harvard, Penn, and I'm ashamed to say my alma mater, MIT, couldn't bring themselves to condemn the calls for the genocide of Jews. You remember what they said? They said, it depends on the context. Well, let me give these befuddled academics a little context. <laughs> Anti-Semitism is the world's oldest hatred. For centuries, the massacre of Jews was always preceded by wild accusations. We were accused of everything from poisoning wells, to spreading plagues, to using the blood of slaughtered children to bake Passover matzos. These preposterous anti-Semitic lies led to persecution, mass murder, and ultimately to history's worst genocide, the Holocaust. Now, just as malicious lies were leveled for centuries at the Jewish people, malicious lies are now being leveled at the Jewish state. No, no, don't applaud. Listen. The outrageous slanders that paint Israel as racist and genocidal are meant to delegitimize Israel, to demonize the Jewish state, and to demonize Jews everywhere. And no wonder, no wonder we've witnessed an appalling rise of anti-Semitism in America and around the world. My friends, whenever and wherever we see the scourge of anti-Semitism, we must unequivocally condemn it and resolutely fight it, without exception.